welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. This video that I'm doing today is one that has been highly requested ever since I started doing Peloton content. People ask me in my YouTube comments, they ask me on Instagram, can you please, please, please rank your favorite Peloton instructors? So this is what I did. I've had my Peloton for almost a year now. I have taken rides with pretty much every single instructor. I've gotten kind of like a feel for all of them. I made a ranking. I decided I didn't want to sit down and tell you like my ultimate ranking of instructors because one, it seemed kind of mean-spirited because obviously like someone's gonna be at the top and someone's gonna be at the bottom, right? And two, I think that like favorite instructor is subjective. Like one, my favorite instructor changes day to day. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. And your favorite instructor really is about like what kind of ride you like to have, what kind of music you like to listen to, what kind of person you like to vibe with. So me giving you my list of my favorite instructors does you no good because we not, might not be the same kind of rider. You know what I mean? So what I did instead was I just took the list of cycling instructors and full disclosure, I only used the instructors that teach in English. Um, I've never ridden with a German instructor, so it just wouldn't be, I don't speak German. <laughs> um, so I, I made a list of the instructors. I actually just took it in alphabetical order. I wrote down something like my thoughts about each one of them. And then I am in a bunch of Peloton Facebook groups. I posed the question in these groups. Can you please tell me who your favorite instructor is and why? Like convince me, right? So for each instructor, I have, there she is, she's been meowing away, and now she's here, the star of my life, punky girl. Um, for each instructor, I have my thoughts on how I feel about them, whether I ride with them or not, and then something positive from someone who that person is their favorite instructor, because I think that's a better way to go about it. You know, that's a better way to find out kind of what their vibes are, why people like to ride with them, and why you might like to ride with them. So that's gonna be what we do instead. I'm not ranking them. You will find out my favorites and my least favorites, but oh, I, you know, we love the Peloton family. We love the Peloton instructors. It's nothing but good vibes here. Let's just, let's go ahead and get started. In alphabetical order, the first instructor on my list is Alex Tucson. I've only taken one ride with him. I took, well, I actually did a cool out ride with him earlier, just before I started filming. So technically I took two rides. I took the Black History Month two for one that he did with Tunde recently. I don't really like his music choices. So like, that's why I haven't taken more of his classes, I guess, or why I've never like felt compelled to take one of his classes before. Um, in the one ride that I took, he was a lot of fun. He was like a definite like, hype man i would take a class with him again i'd like i mean i just took a cool down with him earlier today without even thinking about it if he had the right playlist like i would definitely take a class with him again he's more like you're an athlete we're athletes and like that's not really how i feel so like that's not my vibe but he is he was really fun and i i've liked the rides that i've taken with him i would definitely ride with him again so this is what facebook had to say they said Alex, the ultimate hype boy. He hypes you up and pushes you with no apologies. He makes you sweat, yell, grunt. And then you get off the bike and realize what you've accomplished and it's major. So there you go. He's a hype man. If that's your vibe, that's your vibe. He's going to be the man for you. There are a lot of instructors. I'm really going to try to make this as quick as possible. So moving on to Miss Allie Love. I kind of wrote her off a long time ago. When I first got my Peloton, I did a couple rides with her and I felt like she was too difficult and it wasn't really that she was just too difficult i was just too new and bad at writing the peloton so i i thought her classes were too hard i stopped taking them i also took a bar class with her and i really didn't like that i ali's bar just wasn't for me so i just like avoided her for a really long time i just came back to her classes again i was missing out for sure she is like a really like nice and calm vibe but like still pushing you and like calm but not too calm i don't know like i really like how she explains form and like being on this out of the saddle like walking and running on the bike like i just feel like she's really good at explaining what we're doing and why we're doing it and she's also just like really cute and inspirational and she plays good music so i'm a fan of ally love i'm a fan of ally love facebook opinion 
a lot of people said Ali. Um, not a lot of people said why they loved Ali, but this person said, if I want someone to talk to me about love and kindness, it's Ali Love. I think that's totally true. You you get off of a ride with her and you like feel it in your soul, if that makes sense. She's got that really like all-encompassing mind, body, spirit kind of personality. And I think that's why so many people gravitate to her as an instructor. Okay, over the Atlantic, I almost said Atlantic River. What is it? It's an ocean. It's an ocean, Emily. Over the Atlantic Ocean, we have got Mr. Ben Aldis. Ben is not my favorite. I don't know exactly what it is, and I'm not trying to be mean, but I find his personality kind of boring. I feel like I could get sleepy during one of his rides. He's just not my favorite. I do do stretches with him a lot, mainly just because he does a lot of 10 minute full body stretches, which I like, but even then, like, I could fall asleep on the ground. I'm sorry, Ben, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're just, you're just, you're just not my type, but you're a great guy. Um, this is what Facebook had to say. They said, only one person actually said that Ben was their favorite. A lot of people talked about Ben because apparently he had cancer in the past and he talks about it and they mentioned that when he talks about it, like it's inspiring, it makes them cry, but only one person said that he was their favorite and they said because he plays the best music. I would disagree with that. But he did do the Taylor Swift 10 minute full body stretch and he played the 10 minute version of All Too Well. So we know he's got taste, he's got taste. So that's Ben for you. And moving on to Mr. Bradley Rose. If you watched my 200th Peloton ride vlog, if you haven't, I don't know why you haven't, like go watch it. If you watch that, you know the love that I have for Bradley Rose. He's just so sexy and like cute and like fun and flirty and like cheeky and just like he's my peloton hall pass i honestly like i can't ride with him that often because i'm so in love with him that i just like <sighs> gush at the screen <laughs> i don't want to like work hard and get sweaty because i feel like he can see me through the screen and i like want to be cute for him <laughs> i definitely i definitely have a crush on bradley rose he's just He's so cute. I can't I can't speak too much for like his rides. I haven't done a whole bunch of them. I have PR'd with him before, so you know, that's good. I love to follow him on Instagram. He's really funny. His dogs are so cute and his wife is gorgeous, unfortunately for me. I'm like, my face is like turning red. I love him. I'm blushing. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing and just tell you what Facebook had to say about Bradley Rose. They said, he seems so positive and I love his silliness. Knowing that he is a stroke survivor motivates me to push through my excuses and show up for myself. If he can come back after that, I can get off the couch and ride a bike for 20 minutes. Yeah, that's definitely inspirational. And I don't, I just, I love when he winks at you. It's like, ah! I love him. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> stop gushing, Emily. You're gross. You're married. Okay, back to the New York studios. We have Camila Ramon. I believe she's the newest cycling instructor. I think she just joined the team like in 2021. I feel like like halfway through 2021. I think that's how long she's been a part of like the Peloton family. She is super cute. She teaches in both English and Spanish. She has got a 10 minute climb ride that I've done several times. It's a burner. I, I must have done it like 10 times at this point because it's just, it's really good. I don't always like her music picks. I feel like she plays like a lot of like, one, Latin music, which I do like, I like the sound of, but I don't speak Spanish, so I don't understand it. And she plays a lot of EDM also, which is like not my vibe. I'm not really into that. So like, she's got a very Miami, like she, I think she's from Miami. She's got a very, very Miami kind of like, way about her and like the Miami thing is like not necessarily like my thing but I do really like her I think she's got a great personality I've taken her rides in Spanish I have no idea what she's saying I'm just fucking vibing because <laughs> she's just cool I don't know I don't know how to explain it she's cool and her classes are hard but fun and I follow her on TikTok she's really really funny <laughs> if you can't tell like for me 
the, the mark of what I like in an instructor really doesn't have a lot to do with the rides themselves, the difficulty, or anything like that. It's mainly about the personality of the instructor, the music choice, and that's pretty much it. Like that, that's what I go off. That's what, that's why I wanted to do it this way, giving you my opinion and then giving you other people's opinions so that you could get a more well-rounded view. But anyway, this is what Facebook has to say about Camila. They said, I love Camila. She is the one that motivates me to push myself, but also I love and enjoy the music, so I feel like I'm in a party versus riding my bike. I always get off my bike in a better mood after riding with Camila. If you love reggaeton, dancing, pero intenso, and hearing about all things Latin culture, culture, excuse me, I recommend taking a ride with her. That pretty much sums up Camila. That that's pretty much it. She's fantastic. If you haven't tried one of her classes yet, check your language settings. If you have your language set to just English, you'll see more of her if you put English and Spanish. And honestly, it doesn't even matter if you don't speak Spanish, really. Just like throw it on and just vibe. That's what I do. My next one is spicy. I don't really want to say because I feel like everybody's gonna hate me. Christine Dercole. I, I'm gonna make it short. I don't like her. I don't like her. I I don't like her classes. I don't like her personality. I don't like her vibes. I don't like her music. She reminds me of my mom and I don't like my mom. So if I don't want to talk to my real mother, why would I want to get on my bike for half an hour and take a fitness class with someone who reminds me of my mother? No, thank you. That's just, she's just, I don't like her. Her voice drives me insane. I don't like her. She looks like a pirate. And I don't know, I just, I, okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm being mean. People say try her pink ride and like that'll change your mind. If you take her pink ride, it'll be like life changing and then all of a sudden she's gonna be your favorite instructor. Well, guess what? I don't like pink either. So, ain't gonna happen. It's just, it's, it's, it's a no from me, dog. So let me just move on to what Facebook has to say about her. They said, I find her inspiring. I love her music. She tells us to be curious about what we are capable of and just try. What if you can became my motto for 2021. If you love her, that's great for you. I don't like her. A lot of people do. There you go. We're here for the tough questions. Okay. Do I like Cody Rigsby? Yes, but you already knew that. <laughs> I'm home alone, so I'm like, I feel like I can get really loud. <laughs> okay, Cody is the best. Like, if, if I have a favorite, and I don't think I have just one favorite, but if I have a favorite, he's definitely a contender for my favorite. He's funny and fun and flouncy. There's a reason that he's the star of so many Peloton memes. He just says the most random shit that'll just make you laugh. You forget that you're working. You feel like you're at a dance party, but at the same time, his classes are actually really hard and you will be out of breath and you will be dying and you will PR over and over and over again. Like this is, this is why I think I like him a lot. To talk about what I actually like in a ride, I prefer like more like climbs, resistance intervals, rolling hills, rather than like speed and cadence pushes. And Cody has a lot of that. Like his classes are mostly jogs, resistance intervals, rolling hills, and climbs. And that's, that's what I get on the bike for. So beyond everything else, beyond all the funniness and you know, the goofiness and the memes, that is the kind of ride that I like to have and that's why I go back to Cody over and over and over again. He's a Peloton star. Everybody knows Cody. He was on Dancing with the Stars. Even if you don't know Peloton, you know Cody Rigsby. Like, he, he's a star. He's a star. Facebook had to say, if I want someone to preach to me about big salad energy, it's definitely Cody. I just took that ride where he was talking about big salad energy the other day. I PR'd on it and I will say, I am team big bowl. Do not give me, when you go to sweet green and they give you that tiny thing for your salad, I need a bowl this big. I don't need to be full, but I need space to move my salad around. Like, right, right, yeah, okay. Okay, that was kind of an inside joke. So I, I couldn't pick just one like opinion about Cody because by far out of the hundreds of people that responded, most people said Cody. And just to sum it up, the reason that most people ride with Cody and basically all of them love him is because of his energy, the way he makes you laugh and you forget about you're doing the hard work, but you really are working hard. He's like escapism on the bike, if that makes sense. All right, let's keep it going. Um, Dennis Morton, I've only ridden with him a few times. 
um, mainly warm ups and cool down rides. Honestly, it's just because like his music is not my vibe. I don't, I've, I've never come across one of his classes that I've looked at the music and been like, yeah, like I want to do this. That being said, I do have a couple bookmarked of his older stuff. Like I think he's done like a Beatles ride. Like I, I like, who doesn't like Beatles? Like that, Eminem, like the themed rides I would take with him. But other than that, like he's got like very like hippie, dippy, groovy, like fish kind of energy to his playlist. And that's just like, that's not what I want to work out to. So I just don't gravitate towards him. Um, I do like his yoga classes though. I do a lot of yoga classes with him. I think he's really informative. I like his standing yoga. Not bad to look at, right? <laughs> but I just, I don't ride with him often and it's mainly just because of his music choices. Facebook, on the other hand, they said, Dennis always says, I make suggestions, you make decisions. I've said that in my videos before um, that came from him. I think I mentioned that. And that is the best reminder that we need to remember that all of us on here should not blindly follow cadence and resistance. Sometimes you just want to push harder and sometimes you need to pull back. And that's Dennis Morin for you. So I really, I'm trying to keep this quick. So moving on, Emma Lovewell. I really love her rides and her vibes. I don't ride with her often. And again, it's just music choices. Like sometimes I feel like she picks like, she's got like a very obscure, taste no that's not right i feel like she just picks like um like like how do i explain like b-side music if that makes sense like like deep cuts deep tracks for some days like that's great some days i just want to like listen to like some regular pop music so like that's part of the reason i don't ride with her super often i did do my century ride with her um i got a pr and i got a shout out so Always have a special place in my heart for Emma Lovewell for that. I love following her on Instagram. Her cats are adorable. She's got this energy where like you just know that like if you had something stuck in your teeth, she would like very casually just like whisper like, hey, you've got something in your teeth. Not make a big deal of it, not like announce it to the group or like, sl like slide her compact over to you. Like she's got a very like, girls empowering girls kind of vibe and I, I like that about her. So this is what Facebook had to say. He said, Emma is my number one. She always is, I can talk. She always acknowledges that it's okay to be broken. You just can't live there. She always says, I got you, I'm with you. And that honestly keeps me going sometimes. She does say that a lot and I like that about her too. She also plays Taylor Swift sometimes. She's played some folklore in her ride so she passes the vibe test moving on to another one of my favorites miss hannah corbin she just got like i want to be her best friend like she's so chill she's got like a really nice energy about her i like her vinyl vault rides i like how interested and dedicated she is to the music that she plays her 15 minute album ride is fantastic because she really just like talks about the history of the music while you're writing. I go to her, like I gravitate towards her mainly on my active recovery days. I don't love a low impact ride all the time because I find them boring. Hannah's low impact rides though, they're not boring because one, she picks amazing music. I feel like a lot of low impact rides, they pick like really boring music and it just makes you like, feel like you're slugging your way through. She picks amazing music and even though you're taking it easy and you're not going past what it, you don't go past 90 cadence you don't go past 50 resistance i still feel like i'm getting a workout in rather than other like low impact rides where i feel like i'm like okay like is this kind of just a waste of my time you know what i mean if you haven't tried hannah's bar classes though they are fire your ass well thank you She's super cute. She's like, you know, she. I think she was like a Broadway dancer. She's just got like flouncy energy. I just like her. I just like her. This is what Facebook has to say. I think she was another one that like not a lot of people talked about because this isn't like a super exciting opinion. I, I think she's underrated. If that's the, the case, I think she's underrated. But this is, I guess, the only opinion I got from Facebook. I got a shout out from Hannah C. So I will always love her for that. It does feel special when you get a shout out. It really does. Okay, and now British Hannah, Hannah Frankenson, she's a good one to try if you want to try Tabata, if you're intimidated by Tabata, which I still am. 
but she she does a good job with that i again like haven't ridden with her too much i i honestly don't even really have a reason why i just haven't gravitated towards her i love her and leanne's two for one women's history month ride from a couple weeks back if you haven't taken that you definitely should they're so fun they're so cute together you can tell they're just like real life besties it was a great time and this is what facebook had to say Hannah Frankenson seems like a best friend, super encouraging. She's just so cool. I would agree with that. Moving right along, we've got Miss Jen Sherman. She was the very first Peloton instructor. She's got big mom energy, but like in a good way. Like she's she's gonna, you know, hold your hand a little bit, but she's also gonna kick your ass. She will make you fucking work. Her 60 minute classes are no joke. The first one I took, I legit cried like happy tears when it was over. <laughs> In like a good way, like I was just really glad it was over and also like I felt like all the pride of like a job well done and all that shit, but like really I was just, I was just glad that it was over. I also feel like she and I have like similar personalities, even though she's like 25 years older than me. Um, she just like, I feel, I feel like we would get along. I feel like we would get along well. She always is, acknowledges how much the work sucks, but like just fucking do it, <laughs> which I like. Like, don't lie to me and tell me this is fun because it's not, this fucking sucks. But like, you gotta do it, right? That That's what I like about her. And Facebook seems to agree with me because what they said, if I want it real, I ride with Jen. That's the best way I think I can describe Jen Sherman. I'm gonna try to make it quick again. Jess King, she's not my vibe. She killed big. I don't, I don't know. I've taken classes with her, with her that I like, but generally I just don't like to ride with her. Just don't like her. I don't, I don't know. This is why I didn't want to rank, because it feels mean, you know? Sometimes it's it's okay to not like people. You don't have to form a parasocial relationship with every Peloton instructor. I do like her sparkly purple cycling shoes. I don't like that I messaged her on Instagram, asked her where she got them, and she looked at it and didn't respond, so... Boo. Um, Facebook opinion. They said, Jess King, she gives me the motivation and self-confidence to continue to work hard without the extra fluff that some instructors say. I personally would disagree. I think she's full of fluff, but that's just me. I'm gonna take the negativity out. We're gonna move on. Kendall Tool, that's my girl. I am genuinely in love with her. Like I, 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 I have a crush. Um, I'm obsessed with her pop punk rides. I definitely had an emo moment. I think a lot of us did who grew up in the early aughts. And I just, I love, I love her pop punk rides. They're so much fun. It's like really like being like an angsty teenager again, just like headbanging and going crazy on the bike. Not to keep objectifying everybody, but she's incredibly sexy. So there's that. One of my favorite rides ever is one of her rides. It's a 30 minute Disney ride, but it's not like Circle of Life Disney. It's like 2000s Disney Channel Disney. Like think like Lindsay Lohan, Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana. It's so much fun. I've done that ride so many times. It's a great time. Yeah, I love Kendall. She'll, she'll kick your ass and she'll have you crying, but then you like come back crawling and begging for more. I love that about her. She's like, she's, she's one of the few instructors that I can stomach spending 45 minutes with because I just love her so much. So Facebook had to say, Kendall, because, sorry, I, that was really hard to read. Kendall, because where actually does she get the nerve to headbang and sing while I'm about to vomit? They were talking specifically about um, one of her metal rides, I think. I have not tried one of her metal rides yet. I am not brave enough. Her most recent 20 minute one that she just dropped, I have bookmarked, um, I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it, yeah. Kendall Tool, that's my girl. Jumping back over to London, we have got Leanne Hainsby. Um, she's a cutie, she's someone that I don't ride with often. This one, because of the way she structures her classes, she I feel like she does a lot of high cadence intervals, and I just, that's, I prefer, a higher resistance, lower cadence. Like I would rather be at like 40 to 50 resistance, 80 to 90 cadence than 
30 to 40 resistance, 110 to 120 cadence. And I feel like that's where she um, hovers a lot. So I don't gravitate towards her often. That being said, I have never taken a ride with her that I didn't have fun on. The I just talked about her Women's History Month, two for one with Hannah. That was a great ride. Her Wicked ride. I loved that one. The Spice Girls ride, obviously, that's like a, a classic Peloton favorite. She's, she's got the sweet British accent. Like, she really just sounds like cute and adorable. And also, her and Ben, all this are engaged, which I think is super cute and awesome for them. I think, I don't know, did they meet through Peloton? Does anybody know? I just, I think that was adorable. Facebook said, she's my perfect balance of challenging and encouraging, all while being wrapped up in a sparkly fitness bubble. I also really love her playlist. Sparkly fitness bubble, I think that is the perfect description of Leanne. I could not have said it better myself. Okay, I promise we're getting through these. We're getting to the end. We've got up next, Matt Wilpers. I've never done an actual ride with Matt. I've never done like the Discover Your Power Zones program or anything, and I feel like that's what he teaches most. I have done cool downs with him and I do like how he describes like the science of what we're doing and why we cool down the way we cool down and I would imagine that he's like that in his regular classes and that's according to Facebook they say he's an excellent coach, knowledgeable, brings out the best in his power zone riders, a little geeky like me. He is a little geeky, I've gotten that vibe but yeah I think he's like very like he's an athlete his riders are athletes and he's a coach you know like he's like i feel like he's there's a difference between like instructor and coach and he falls more on the coach side of things and i would say like alex probably does as well then we have olivia amato she is an evil tiny drill sergeant okay i once clipped in for a 15 minute pop ride with her thinking it would just be like like a chill like I, I really didn't want to ride that day but like it was getting late and I was like you know get 15 minutes and it's fine no it was horrible it was so hard she's crazy she's absolutely crazy but she's fun and she's beautiful I like her strength classes more than I like her bike classes like I feel like I take a lot of her like core classes um, I feel like I prefer her in that setting rather than on the bike She's just like Leanne, she likes to ride at a super high cadence all the time and that's just like, that's just, it's just not my vibe. I'd rather go heavy and slow than fast. But my favorite cooldown I've ever taken, ever, I take it all the time, is with her, so there's that. Yeah, no one on Facebook actually said that she was their favorite, which I found weird because I feel like she's very popular. But anyway, um, because no one on my Facebook post said that she was their favorite, I found this on Reddit don't come for me. It was just like one of the first things that came up when I googled her. Um, she's fun, she's a challenge, she's got great playlists, and she's great across all platforms. Olivia consistently kicks my butt. She's a butt kicker. I almost said butt kisser. She's a butt kicker, and that's for sure. Honestly, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be a three-way tie between Cody, Kendall Tool, and Miss Robin Arzone. I love Robin. I started Peloton while she was on maternity leave, so I like I wasn't really like going back and looking for classes. I was like kind of just taking classes as they popped up. Her my first ride with her was her first ride back from maternity, and that was an incredible ride. I think everybody just felt really emotional, and it, she was emotional, and it was just like fun. I had no idea who she was before that ride, but I bawled like a baby when she brought her husband and baby Athena out and I just I've loved her since then her vibe is immaculate she can be extremely difficult she pushes the hell out of you or she's super chill and like just just get the ride over with today and she the thing is she'll tell you exactly what you're in for at the beginning of the class like you you can clip in to a pop class with her and she'll just straight up be like you're not gonna PR today but we are gonna have fun. So I like that about her. Like she's just very upfront about what she's giving from the other side of the camera. I also like, I don't know, like I follow her on Instagram. She's got her like whole thing about like, don't let the crown fall, queens upheld other queens. I don't know, like I, she's got kind of like girl boss energy, but like I feel like it's genuine. Like I think she's genuinely just a woman out here to empower other women and I love that about her. Also she's a Swifty, so 
she passes the vibe check. We stand. She's got the 30 minute red ride. That fucking 10 minute flat road in the middle of it. Crazy. Love it. Love her. Robin, we love you. Facebook said, she always reminds me that I'm a queen and I just have to remember who the hell I am. Some days I need that energy. That's true. She will forever be reminding you who the hell you are. Okay, back over the pond for one last London instructor. We've got Samyo. He is so chill that he's too chill. I, I think he used to be a monk. I might be making that up. But like, I genuinely think he used to be a monk. Like, I think I read that or like someone said that. Because he's just a little too chill for my taste. I only really ride with him for like cool downs or like arms and light weights. Like he does good arms and light weight classes. I feel like I could, I, I don't know. I feel like if I took a longer ride with him, I would fall asleep. Cause he's just too relaxing. I think he would be great. Like. It would be awesome if he did meditations, like Peloton meditations. I would definitely do those. But like, I don't know, sometimes when I'm on the bike, like I feel like I wanna just like get yelled at. And like, yeah, he, he Samuel's not gonna yell at you. I like him though. Facebook said, when I'm feeling a more chill vibe, but still have work to do, I appreciate him because he's more gentle in his approach. And plus you can't be upset listening to his accent. You gotta love the British. Everybody loves the British accent. That's the thing about Americans. We have mommy issues um, for the, the country that <laughs> abandoned us. <laughs> so we love British accents. I, I think this one is the perfect example as to why I wanted to give my opinions and then the opinions of others because everything that I said I didn't like about Samuel, that's exactly what this person does like about and why they ride with him. So that's why I want to structure this video like this. Okay, last but not least. We're, we're getting to the end here, people. The last instructor on this list, Tunde Oyune. I was really scared of her for a long time because like in the lore of like Peloton Facebook groups that I was in, she had a reputation for being really, really tough. Yeah, her classes are tough, but they're doable. Like she's definitely gonna push you, but like, I don't think any more so than anyone else, you know, and like you can always modify. So like, I don't think she's that, she, there's nothing to be scared of basically. I do do a lot of her arms and lightweight classes and those you should absolutely be scared of because they are killer. And by killer, I mean like, good luck not lifting your arm past here because she burned you out with two pound weights. In 10 minutes, it's 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 insane. She's insane when it comes to the arms and light weight classes. I think her arms and light weight classes are harder than lifting heavy ass weights in an upper body class. Straight up, I said what I said. I do like the new podcast that she's been hosting, The Fitness Flipped. I she's she's a very interesting person. I really liked her conversation with Sterling Brown about when she got hired at Peloton and like feeling like she needed to hide parts of herself. I found that very interesting. Yeah, she's she's had, she's had a crazy life. She lost her brother and her parents all within like a few years of each other. Um, she also used to be a size 26 and like I don't care if you're like not into weight loss or anything like that. That's fucking incredible and inspiring if you look at the athlete body that she has now and think like she used to be bigger than me, like that's that's inspiring as hell. And she's a fellow red lipstick lover, so we have to stand, right? Okay, this is what Facebook said about Tune Day. Tune Day, inspirational. Her story is difficult, but she's proof that movement is medicine. She's real, she's hard as fuck and doesn't mess around. And she lost 70 plus pounds and built an athlete's body with hard work and baby steps. I mean, there you go. You can't say that's not inspirational because it is. And that is it. That was, oh gosh, I really hope I can edit this down. That was 49 minutes of me talking about Peloton instructors. I really hope you guys like this. I hope you get why I didn't want to just make an arbitrary number ranking and why I wanted to talk about it this way. I think that there's, there's an instructor for every person, for every personality, and really it's just about trying them all out 
and seeing who makes you excited to come back. I think that's the most important, like who makes you want to come back to the bike, right? I hope my opinions don't piss any, any of you off. Um, really not trying to be mean about the ones that I don't like. Really trying to be positive, but sometimes I get a little too ahead of myself. I've, I've got big Capricorn energy, I can't help it. Please, please, please share with me your favorite instructors in the comments down below. Tell me, actually, you know what? I want to know who your least favorite is and why. Like, do you, who do you, who do you not like? Give me the tea, give me the, be nice, be nice, but like spill the tea. I want to know who you don't like. If you found this interesting and you want to know my opinions about the instructors of the other Peloton platforms, because there are plenty more that we could talk about, I would love to do that. Um, let me know if that's something that you're interested in in the comments down below and I will see you very very soon either on the bike or in my next video. Bye!